Hi, I'm Gabriel Gonçalves, founder of the Academy for Applied Heart Intelligence and Heart and Mind Consulting. Today's meditation is part of a monthly series entitled The Inner Temple of the Heart. These meditations can have a profound effect in your life and in the lives of people around you, especially when practiced together in groups at the time of the full moon. Why the full moon? The subtle energies available during this special time invite us to deepen our connection to our inner wisdom, unexpressed emotions, and the true desires of our soul. As the warm sun illuminates the cool darkness of the moon, so are all these unexamined aspects of ourselves brought forth into the light, giving us the opportunity to heal, grow, and transform. In our human bodies, our heart is the equivalent to our central planetary sun. By bringing our focus attention to the spiritual heart, or the heart behind the heart, we begin to gain access to what our ancestral spiritual traditions refer to as the inner temple of the heart, the Lingong or soul's temple, the shrine inside the castle of Brahman, the jewel inside the lotus flower, the sacred heart of Christ, the heart of the beloved, the Shanta Ishta, the central sun, or the heart of the one. This inner temple of your heart is your inner sanctuary and source of love, wisdom, and power, generating the largest electromagnetic energy field of your body. This field expands in all directions, connecting you to all living beings in all dimensions, transcending time and space. It connects you to the infinite wisdom of your soul, to the universal heart of our Creator, Spirit, or God, and to the Archangelic Realm. By directing our focus attention through heart intentional breathing, we establish a deeper connection with our inner temple of the heart, activating the vibrational frequencies of the 12 virtues of the heart. Appreciation, compassion, forgiveness, humility, understanding, valor, love, kindness, freedom, truth, harmony, and honor. Today, we're going to focus on activating the virtue of kindness. According to Aristotle, kindness is the willingness to help someone in need, not in return for anything, nor for the advantage of the helper himself, but for the benefit of the person being helped. The word kindness from the Middle English kinde means to share the same nature or origin. To be kind is to recognize that we're all part of a larger family and that therefore we're all related. This is what the Native American expression mitakuye o yasin means, all my relations. Kindness more than being nice or friendly, complimenting someone for how they look or opening the door to a total stranger is a way of saying, I care for you and your well-being because you and I are related, because you and I are part of the same cluster, the same tribe, the same family. And because I care about you, I treat you with appreciation, compassion, forgiveness, humility, understanding, and valor. Kindness is, in essence, an expression of love in action. For the next few minutes, we're going to evoke the feeling or the vibration of kindness within our own hearts, radiating it first to ourselves and different aspects of our lives, and then to our family and friends and to all those beings that we share this beautiful planet with, especially those who are suffering and need it the most. We begin by setting the intention to connect deeply with this vibration or the feeling of kindness within our own hearts for the benefit of ourselves, those we love, strangers that we've never met, and the evolution of our world. Centering ourselves in our hearts as we place a hand over the middle of our chest and begin to breathe slowly, deeply, and evenly. 
breathing slowly the way you breathe when you are sound asleep. Breathing deeply down into your stomach. And breathing evenly so that the inhale and the exhale are approximately the same length. We now activate the vibration of kindness by thinking of something or someone that evokes the feeling of kindness. So can you think of a time in your life where either you or someone else acted with kindness, when perhaps you were the recipient of someone else's kindness? As you bring this memory forth, allow yourself to put on a big smile and allow this feeling of kindness to fill your heart. The key to this process is that you actually feel the feeling of kindness within your own heart. So if the memory that you're using does not evoke that feeling, simply choose another memory. But the important thing is that you feel the vibration or the feeling of kindness within you before you can share it with others. Now, begin to radiate this feeling, this vibration of kindness to the rest of your body, allowing it to spread from your heart to your shoulders and to your arms, all the way down to your head and your legs, so that your entire being is now being filled with this feeling, with this vibration of kindness. Allowing it to go beyond your body now to all those areas of your life where you could benefit from this vibration of kindness. So maybe there is an area of your life where you've been really hard towards yourself. You've been really tough on yourself. So imagine yourself radiating this vibration of kindness to all those areas. It could be, for example, an addiction that you may be struggling with, or a behavior that you're beating yourself up for, criticizing yourself and making yourself wrong. Just simply radiate this feeling, this vibration of kindness, as you think of all those areas where kindness could bring about some healing, could bring about some ease, Allow now this vibration of kindness to go beyond your life as it expands to reach your family and your friends. People in your life that you know could benefit from having more kindness in their life, from being kind to others. Imagining that this wave of kindness is now going beyond your friends and your family to people in your neighborhood, people in your city, people in your country. 
and going beyond your country, expanding throughout the world, supporting people of all walks of life, especially people who are experiencing extreme distress and hardship. including also plants and animals and other life forms as you continue to broadcast this feeling, this vibration of kindness throughout the world. As you experience these feelings of kindness within your own heart, you strengthen your ability to be kind to yourself, others, and the world. Silently or out loud, repeat after me. I am kindness. Kindness flows from me. Kindness returns to me. I express my love through daily acts of kindness. I am kindness. Kindness flows from me. Kindness returns to me. I express my love through daily acts of kindness. I am kindness. Kindness flows from me. Kindness returns to me. I express my love through daily acts of kindness. Visualize this kindness as a coherent wave of energy that it's going out like a wave into the world, helping to harmonize our planet, our economic, social and political systems, opening the hearts and minds of political leaders to courageously pursue policies that benefit us all. Policies that honor our Mother Earth and the sustainability of all of life, including our individual rights to freedom, clean water, wholesome foods, shelter, right employment, love and friendship, and fulfilling our life purpose. Building the awareness that we are all related, that we are all one big family. Envision people opening their hearts to each other, putting aside their differences and co-creating a thriving new heart-based or love-based world that works for everyone. A world where we appreciate and love one another, where we treat each other with kindness and respect. As our hearts open more and more, together we are activating the natural forces of goodness, kindness, 
and love, which are now flowing effortlessly throughout every living being on earth, expanding and healing the collective heart of humanity, creating a deeper connection with the heart of God, the creator, the central heart that governs the universe and all of life in all forms. Finally, set the intention to continue to radiate this feeling, this vibration of kindness from your heart for the next 28 days or until the next full moon. Allowing this inner temple of your heart to remain open, receptive and available to you at all times, knowing that this feeling of kindness is ultimately what connects you to all of life and to the beauty of this world. Remember, mitakuye o yasin, we're all related. And because we're all related, we lovingly treat each other with kindness. Thank you very much for taking the time to activate this feeling of kindness within your own heart and for sharing it with the world. I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. And until then, I send you all of my love from my heart to yours. Bye for now.